Hello, and welcome to my podcast, Hashtag I Am Writing, an account of my chaotic personal journey about the joy and pain writing, pitching, and promoting my first book and screenplay. Episode 4, Promoting My Book, Promotions That Got Results and the ones that didn't. I've come to the conclusion that the success of a book is more about good marketing skills than it is about writing a compelling, well-written, structured story. I base this finding on the fact that there are hundreds of poorly written books selling like hotcakes on Amazon, while excellent books struggle to sell. I knew it was important to find my target audience and I should have done more research into this. But because my book is a family saga, I assumed all ages, well, maybe not teenagers, but certainly between the ages of 30 to 70 and female, would be interested. Certainly, my book appealed to more women than men. I did develop a marketing strategy, which included a bit of social media. For many, social media works if you have the time to spend on it, but I didn't. I spent a lot of time thinking about creative ways to promote my book and came up with a couple of ideas which I'll talk about and rate shortly. There are two options for promoting, digital and non-digital, and I did both. Let's take my experience with digital first. As a measure of each promotion's success, where appropriate, I'll give a rating of between 0 to 10. First of all, I created a blog called A Newbie's Journey into the Publishing and Now Film World. Content is king when writing and requires investment in time, so one needs to set aside a regular time slot to write your blog and stick to it. I didn't. Another idea was to engage with other bloggers to guest blog on their site, so I sent out requests but got no response. I'd put the success rate of that. I'd put the success rate of that at 3 out of 10. Search engine optimization. Learning the basics about SEO is how you get visibility for your blog. It's really important that you choose the right URL because that's the first place Google looks to understand what your blog is about and how to rank it. Because I wasn't tech savvy, I struggled with this when promoting my book. However, there are now loads of websites with easy-to-follow steps on how to optimize your site for Google and other search engines. But even though I followed these steps, I get very little traffic to my blog, so I put the success rate for that at 2. I made a YouTube video about why I wrote Olga a Daughter's Tale. The number of views is low, about 650 as I record this podcast. But to be honest, I haven't promoted the video sufficiently. Giveaways Don't underestimate free. Free is powerful. A free promotion drives traffic to your website and you can get reviews which brings even more traffic and can result in sales. Giveaway number one. Enrollment in Amazon's KDP Select. One of their tools on offer by enrolling in KDP Select is a free book promotion whereby readers worldwide can get your book free for a limited time. To qualify, you have to agree that for three months your ebook will not be sold anywhere else on the internet. After that period, you can opt out or remain in the program. This embargo doesn't affect printed copies of your book. You can continue to sell printed copies wherever you choose. My experience was that it's worth trying, particularly if you have a new book you want to promote. I got quite a few reviews and sales as a result of this free promotion. Success rate 8. Giveaway number 2. Goodreads. If you only join one book club, make it Goodreads. They are the world's largest site for readers 
and book recommendations with, as I write this, more than 75 million members. When I became a Goodreads author, one could host giveaway contests for free. The books had to be in paperback form, though. I ran half a dozen of these giveaway contests and notched up lots of great reviews as a result. But unfortunately, Goodreads has now changed its policy and charges authors a fee to run a giveaway contest. Between Goodreads and Amazon, I have over 300 reviews for my book. If you decide to give away a printed copy of your book, remember to sign it because it makes the gift much more personal. Success rate, 8 out of 10. Giveaway number 3. Library Thing. Library Thing is an online service that helps people catalogue their books. They used to run giveaway contests too, and unlike Goodreads, their contests gave away ebooks, which was great. Because they were downloads, you could give away a hundred or more at a time. Unfortunately, they no longer offer the option for authors to gift their ebooks. Success rate for me, 8 out of 10. Social media. Twitter. Although I'm not sure Twitter was responsible for any sales of my book, I did make contact with two people who were invaluable to me in supporting and advising me with my screenplay. I've marked the success rate at 8 because of these two contacts and talk about them in my podcasts relating to my screenplay later. Success rate, 8. My email signature. A really simple promotional strategy and effective because you put a link to your book and or blog in your email signature. I did both. I advertised on Facebook group pages. It was a bit hit and miss. By that I mean the first time was fairly successful and I got four reviews out of it, but the second time, nothing. Success rate, five. Radio and podcast interviews. I had two opportunities to do this, one with an afternoon talk program on ABC Radio Australia and the other was a podcast interview. I turned down both because of nerves. Public speaking has always been a problem with me and I was terrified I'd say something stupid or not be able to answer the question articulately. However, I've since discovered an international organisation that delivers training on public speaking, so now this is on my to-do list. But I blew two great opportunities that may well have generated sales. Success rate, nil. Press releases, free or paid. I tried both and no response from either. I wouldn't do it again unless I had an unusual hook that could pique interest. Success rate, zero. Upload images to Instagram of people reading your book. I didn't do this, but I think it's a great idea and plan to do it in the future. Now for the non-digital promotions. I approached three of my local bookshops who agreed to take copies of my book for a trial period. No copies sold. But in hindsight, I missed a good opportunity here had I asked to do a book signing in the shops. Local bookshops are very supportive of local writers, so it was really dumb of me to miss out on an opportunity like this. It is a fantastic feeling seeing your book on display in a bookshop. Success rate, zero. Giveaway, Sydney Writers' Festival. I gave away 300 copies of my book. This promo cost me a lot of money, but I thought a good investment because I got some reviews out of it. But I think I could have got better bang for my buck with a more strategically pitched promotion. Success rate, seven. And by the way, if you do give away a printed copy of your book, don't forget to include your contact details. Giveaway number five. A restaurant in Sydney. Mother's Day. My son took me to lunch at a restaurant 
and the manager of the restaurant agreed that I could gift 20 copies of my book to random women who were having lunch with their families. The books were presented in a small, attractively decorated bag, the same size as the book itself. This was more about acknowledging kindred spirits on Mother's Day rather than a promotion. Giveaway number six, cruise ship. I left a copy in the library of a cruise ship I spent ten days on one Christmas. A few months later, I received a lovely review from a passenger who'd read it. Success rate, ten. Giveaway number seven, Jamaican embassies and consulates. Because my book is about my Jamaican mother and includes some of Jamaica's history, culture and folklore, I posted a copy to countries that had a Jamaican embassy or consulate. From memory, that was in the region of 20. Not as many as I initially anticipated. I'm not sure what I expected to get out of this action, but thank you would have been quite nice. Success rate, zero. Finally, my most creative promotion. I posted six copies of my book to Oprah Winfrey, with a covering letter wrapped in paper which I designed myself and carried iconic images of Australia. My thinking was, if I send six, surely one copy will get through to her, especially wrapped in such vibrant paper. It's not like anyone could miss seeing the package. I sent them to Harpo Productions in Chicago, two months before Oprah's planned visit to Sydney in 2010. But I'll never know if she got a copy because there was no response. Success rate? Nil. For information, there's a copy of the wrapping paper that I designed on my Facebook page, Olga, A Daughter's Tale, if you're interested in seeing it. Gifting my book was the most successful promotion I did because it got me reviews. A double win, really, because good reviews equals sales. Clearly, I made many mistakes. The biggest was knowing too little about marketing and expecting my book to sell, which is why I cannot stress enough the importance of having a marketing plan. With all the setbacks I've had, you'd be forgiven for wondering how I managed to sell any copies of my book. The truth is, if you have a good story, it will find an audience. Tune in to the next episode when I talk about how unprepared I was to adapt my book into a screenplay. If you have any comments or feedback, you can contact me at Marie Campbell 43 at gmail.com Thank you for listening and goodbye.